Hey everybody, Pastor Jay here from Know the Truth. I'm gonna have to apologize in advance. Oh, I'm sick. The Lord has bestowed his sickness upon me. And you might be asking, Pastor Jay, why are you so sick? Well, I'll tell you. I've been intimate with my atheist girlfriend. Now, don't go crazy, we've only held hands. But in the eyes of a perfect Lord, that is way too much before marriage. Anyway, it doesn't matter though. This video isn't about that. This video is actually about an advertisement I saw while watching the Super Bowl. Now, I don't know much about football, and I know even less about Super Bowls. But what I do know from eavesdropping is Seattle doesn't know how to use some guy named Lynch, and that Brady's balls were just right. Perfect size, perfect weight, perfect PSI. I also know that there was a commercial on that upset a lot of my flock. I watched the commercial a couple times, and for the life of me, I could not figure out what people were getting so upset about. Finally, my atheist girlfriend let me in on what the little joke was about. Carnival Cruise Line was claiming that evolution is real, that we all came from the sea at one point, and now we want to go back. <laughs> I've never been so upset in my life. How dare they claim this to be true when there's no evidence at all of it being true? I have to whisper, yell, because people are trying to watch TV, and I want to be quiet. Look, I know scientists have these peer-reviewed magazines like Mad Magazine, Boy's Life, Cosmo, Guns and Ammo, and Playboy. But having those magazines doesn't mean shite. We true Christians have a better book. One that's been around for thousands of years and has stood up to more peer reviews than those journals I just mentioned. That's right the Bible. Now let's talk about evolution. I know I've talked about this many times before, but sometimes stupid people need smart beaten into their head. So here we go again. Atheists, Catholics, Jews, Muslims, and pagans all believe this evolution to be true. Yet will they give us the missing link that we've been looking for? I know, I know they've found a missing link, but what about the missing link between that missing link? And when they find that missing link, where's the missing link between that missing link? We're never going to find the missing link that we're looking for because it doesn't exist. Never has and never will. Evolution is just a theory like trigonometry, male seahorses having babies, and the earth revolving around the sun. Good thoughts. No, seriously, good thoughts, but come on. If evolution was true, then why aren't animals evolving every day to become human? Why aren't humans evolving to become superhumans? And why is bestiality a crime? Trust me, it is. If we all evolve from the same thing, then aren't we the same species? Just some further evolved than others? If we evolved, then that would also make men and women equal, right? I think it's time to take a breather and have everybody reread Genesis. Those are the true answers to how we came to be, and it also explains a lot of my old criminal charges. God made Adam, and then he made a woman. God didn't even name the woman. That's how equal we are. Adam named her. I swear, look it up. I'm not even kidding, look it up. Anyway, we can't just sit by and let some Super Bowl tell us what we can and can't believe in. In between guys throwing pucks towards nets for home runs, my church is the only place to learn about true history. So forget about JFK and Carnival and join the one true church before it's too late. Thanks for watching. Love.